Yesterday, Jagex posted a bunch of proposed card balances which they plan on introducing at the end of the week. For me though, one change in particular stood out among the others, and that was Dust Devil, increasing the health on the card to 7 from 5. Let me start off by stating that I do understand why some new players may come across this card and complain it's overpowered, because it's unlike any mechanic in other CCGs. Your Legend's base attack is critical to making your deck work, and having it messed with at first can appear to be too strong. However, after a little more experience, you learn how to counter things like this. It's the learning curve of a new game. It's just a little steeper in the case of Chronicle when compared to others. I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing, as it can be so rewarding once mastered. Now, if we move on to the deck where Dust Devil is almost exclusively played, Grief Linza, I've played hundreds of games with this deck, so I believe I have a real understanding of why the deck is truly one of the best around on the ladder, and why the proposed change to Dust Devil is completely wrong. Now, before you all start screaming at me saying I'm just butthurt that the deck's being nerfed, I'm not. I just disagree with how it's being nerfed, and will propose other changes later on in the video. As it stands, the deck really has no obvious weaknesses once you learn how to mulligan and play it to its optimal level. Even against a rampant greedy Venescular AP deck, if you mulligan correctly, you are able to control the AP gain of your opponent until the final fight, where the rest of your sustain combines with the Tetsu Katana to win. And that there gives you a clue into where the real strength of this deck is. The ability to play base attack grief alongside sustain to almost broken levels. Cards like Repurpose and Full Tetsu, as well as Tetsu Katana, are the true MVPs in this deck. Whenever I come up against an aggro deck, no matter the legend, I'm greatly disappointed in myself if I end up losing. That's how strong the healing and armour is. I shouldn't ever be that confident going into a matchup against aggro, but I just know that the sustain that exists will easily outlast any damage my opponent tries to throw at me. On top of the sustain though, you throw in a little bit of weapon grief, and your opponent's going to have a bad time. This surely needs looking at before anything else in this deck. Repurpose is widely acknowledged as being overpowered, so why has this not been looked at before now? An interesting idea for this would be to make the armor reward dependent on the attack and durability of the weapon that you're spending somehow. So the bigger the weapon you invest, the bigger the armor reward you receive. This would be another change that increases the skill level a little, as you have to decide which weapon is worth investing into this. Full Tetsu is the bane of any aggro deck, and offers insane value for one slot. Even toning this down to a 6-6 reward or a 5-7 reward would be a start when it comes to balancing this card. It would still probably see the same amount of play, but even that small nerf would help balance Grief Linza. Dust Devil, in its current state, is probably a little too strong, because there's no real risk for playing the card early on. This could be fixed by increasing the attack on Dust, Lev Dust Devil to 5 or so. That way, if your opponent manages to grief your weapon and prevent you from getting the strong effect of removing a base attack early on, you are heavily punished for it. You could even potentially increase the health on Dust Devil to 6, which would mean a Slime Toes weapon couldn't be used on it, but a Goblin Raider weapon could. There are plenty of counters to Dust Devil floating around in all decks, from Bar Fight, Calfa Emissary and Giant Rat in the general collection, to Tool Belt and Major Mary Rancor in Linz's collection. There are also others around, but they currently see a much less play than these five. On top of that, there's always the counter of just not being plain old greedy. There are a number of people out there who just refuse to learn to play around certain cards. Should the game really be balanced around these? I strongly believe that making AP removal more difficult to pull off than it currently is, is a bad move for the game in the long run. Having this mechanic in the game increases the skill level required to play right at the very top level, both when playing the deck and also when playing against it. There were more cards that affected AP in the game previously, but slowly they're being removed, Rip Stagger, or Nerf to Oblivion, Rip Ogre Brute. It just feels like the game is heading too much in a direction where interaction with your opponent is limited. If anything, the game should be adding in more ways to interact with your opponent, rather than making it more difficult to play. We've already seen Fern nerf to the point where it's rarely played, and in fact the only regularly played card that messes with your opponent's creatures is Archmage Cedridor. I wouldn't be surprised if this was nerfed soon too, which would be a shame. This only encourages greedy AP stacking decks which have become the plague of the meta, as there's no real threat to their dominance, apart from Grief Linza. A change like this will only strengthen AP sustained decks grip on the game, which will mean less variety when we're supposedly trying to help to grow the game with more variety. More cards that mess with your opponent's creatures need to be added, but I'd also rebuff Fern. Just its existence would slow down AP decks, as they have to take it into account again. Currently, people don't have to worry about it at all. 
Anyone who knows me understands how much I love this game, and I desperately want it to grow. But it seems to me a number of balancing changes are missing the mark currently, and it's frustrating to see. I hope this change in particular is looked at again before being implemented, otherwise AP gaining decks will have no natural counter to keep them in check.